it happened about five years ago. I never brought it to the media because there's no point in bringing stuff to the media that happened behind closed doors. Shakur, uh, I don't know why Shakur tweeted it. I, I don't know, but I can say this. When he said, you know, he wasn't lying. That was Keyshawn Davis confirming what Shakur Stevenson had to say regarding him knocking out Tiafma Lopez Sr. right in front of his son, Tiafma Lopez Jr. And on that same night, Keyshawn confronted Tio, not the other way around, in order to fight. However, Tiafma Lopez completely ignored him, as you guys saw on the footage. Since then, Keyshawn has been calling out Tiafma Lopez to fight very heavily. And Tiafma Lopez finally came out responding to Keyshawn supposedly knocking out his father and the confrontation they had, where Tio said, quote, I have more to lose than gain, trying to show my gangster outside of the ring. If you believe you can beat me, then where I place my next fight should not concern you. I thought when you feel you can beat someone, you don't care where you fight. Fighters have no confidence anymore. End of the quote. Listen, to each your own. However, when you have someone like Keyshawn knocking on your father right in front of you, it's time to show your gangster. I don't know about that. I have more to lose than gain trying to show my gangster outside of the ring. That's crazy. When you see your father get knocked out, you have every reason in the world to show your gangster and nobody's going to judge you about it. Period. I guess Tiff Lopez want to act like Bruce Lee. However, when it's time to be Bruce Lee, he don't want to be Bruce Lee. He just want to read his book and use his quotes. Now, T.O. told Keyshawn, listen, if you want to fight, you're going to have to fight me on my terms in my own country, Honduras. Forget the United States. I want to fight in Honduras, a country that no one in history has hosted a boxing event in the country on this magnitude. Clearly, Tio is trying to discourage Keyshawn from fighting him next with these type of demands. However, surprisingly, Keyshawn, he came out already accepting Tiafoe Lopez's demands to fight in Honduras next. Now, that's what you call gangster. Here is exactly what Keyshawn had to say. Check it out. We can take it to Honduras if you want to take it there. Like, that's where you're from, right? Yeah. Let's take it there. Like, Tiafoe, you said out your old mouth. Keyshawn, you one of the fighters, uh, the real fighters that will fight anybody. You said that in the top rank office, as well as you said that don't call you out after I beat Pedraza. Hey, you know I'm a real fighter. Stop trying to say everything's for the clout because you know I'm a real fighter. Like you said, he said I'm doing all for the clout. Tia Fimo sent me a contract and we're going to see what's for clout and what's for not. I'm, I'm, he said he's an old school fighter. Okay, whatever the means send me a contract and we're gonna see what's for clout and what's not now before we get optimistic that the fight is gonna get made let's be real the million dollar question at the moment in time what will tf malopez next excuse gonna be in order to justify why he's not gonna fight the man who knocked out his own father in front of his face while he stood there and did nothing all tio did was watch his father get smoked now, I don't care what you say. Forget boxing. This is personal. So it's time for Tio to get gangster. If he don't want to get gangster outside of the ring, then get gangster inside of the ring with Keyshawn Davis. Because Keyshawn Davis is out here catching Tio from Lopez bluffs one by one, including the one where he said he only wants to fight in Honduras. Well, Keyshawn already agreed to that. So the next step should be, or the next step needs to be, Tiff Lopez sending Keyshawn Davis a contract in order to fight next. That's it, that's all. Just like Keyshawn told Tiff Lopez or dared Tiff Lopez to do. The irony of all of this, Tio said, fighters have no confidence anymore. I thought when you feel you can beat someone, you don't care where you fight. However, that's exactly what Tio did when he fought Combosis. Originally, Tio said the only reason he's fighting Combosis instead of Devin Haney unification for Undisputed is because he want to fight Combosis in Australia in front of 60,000 fans. Who will turn down that opportunity? That was Tiff Lopez's justification of ducking Devin Haney unification for Undisputed 
in order to fight his mandatory combosis. Remember, unifications always trumps mandatories. Nevertheless, Tia went from saying that to backtracking the moment Thriller wanted to host the fight in Australia. Man, Tio backtracked so much, he tried to backtrack his way out of the fight by threatening Triller that he will vacate his IBF belt if they do so. So whatever happened to this energy, fighters have no confidence anymore. I thought when you feel you can beat someone, you don't care where you fight. Whatever happened to that when Tio was supposed to fight Combosis in Australia, like he originally said he was going to do in order to duck the Devin Haney unification fight for Undisputed. So that was the whole purpose of it, of why we were going to fight Cambosis, was because it would be in Australia um, with the fans. And, and of course, who's going to say, who, who would say no to 60,000 fans in attendance? No one. So um, that was the whole goal for it. Now that the fact that uh, due to COVID and everything, um, you know, they have the travel ban, that kind of takes everything out the equation where we might face Devin Haney next. Are you saying that Cambosos has a better resume than Devin and that he brings more money than Devin? Why you rate his mandatory more than you do Devin Haney's? Better resume? Honestly, mm. Cambosos fought his way. I don't think Devin has fought his way. But yeah, he does bring money to the table if the fight goes to Australia. Yeah. It's time where I start making more money now. You know, if man. It goes I've been... to Australia. If it doesn't go to Australia, he's gonna present more money than Devin Haney in the U.S. Yeah. Wow. But in terms of Devin, since you're talking about him and and, and in your action, what it do... ain't gonna happen. No, it no, ain't gonna happen. no. In I'll terms, be honest. It ain't in ter gonna happen. In ter which is the fight that you want to happen at 35? Which one are you looking I, at? I like I said, man. A lot of people can say whatever they want, but the dude actually fought his way to get his shot with me, and he has actually two. So it is gonna be combosive. Man, every time Tio tries to say something smart, he's actually describing his own self when he says that. It's like Tio is writing down his own insecurities when he says these things, thinking that perhaps these other fighters have the same insecurities that I have. So they're not going to take the fight if I put out these crazy demands. This was Tiofma Lopez's plan to avoid the best black American fighters. He uses Crawford in order to deflect from fighting Devin Haney. He tells Keyshawn to get a belt. Meanwhile, Devin Haney has a belt and he's not asking for that belt or whenever he asks for the Devin Haney fight he wants 20 million guaranteed plus he wants to be the A side even though he can't even sell 6,000 tickets nor do more than a half a million views on free ESPN TV a network that has over a hundred million subscribers T.O. can't even pull in more than half a million this is why Tio was cloud chasing Crawford to begin with. He uses Crawford's name to deflect from fighting Devin Haney, Shakur, Javante, and even the Keyshawn Davis fights. You guys have to realize Crawford has a lawsuit with top rank. If Tio wanted to fight Crawford so bad, why did he resign with them, even though he was already a free agent? Peep this, Tio only started calling out Crawford after he re-signed with top rank, which tells you everything you need to know. I mean, the fact that Tio is the WBO champion at 140, however, he don't use his belt to petition to move up to fight Crawford at 147 and forced to mandate the fight with his position proves that Tio is only cloud chasing Crawford. That's why Tio went from calling out Crawford to demanding a catch weight then now he's saying, anybody that want to fight me, you have to fight me in Honduras my next fight. If you want to fight me, come fight me in Honduras, a country that never hosted any fight on this magnitude. We're not going to have any gate because the country is not that rich like the USA. And guess what? It might not even be safe. I mean, make it make sense. Tiofma Lopez is trying to take a page out of Canelo Alvarez duck prank. Canelo fought Ryder in Mexico. Now Tio want to fight somebody in Honduras. But peep the difference. 
Canelo was willing to take a major pay cut in order to fight in Mexico to give back to his community. And he was also taking a stay busy fight at cherry pick fight against Ryder. However, Tio is claiming otherwise. He want to get an overcut. He don't want to take a pay cut. On top of that, he wants a big name to fight him over there. Basically, Tia wants Crawford, for example, to give up his A-side leverage and to take a pay cut to fight him in Honduras. What sense does that make? However, thanks to Keyshawn, he's putting structure to this. He's going to make sense out of this. And he agreed to fight Tiafma Lopez in Honduras just to catch his bluff. Like I told you guys, the worst weapon in the world is a microphone and a camera. Word to my man Dante. Tio is over here spilling out his own insecurities when he's saying things like fighters have no confidence anymore to fight in other countries. When he's the one that turned down to do something like that against Combosis, not just once, but twice, the first time and the second time in the rematch. Therefore, we shall see if Tiof Lopez is going to accept to fight Keyshawn Davis after Keyshawn accepted his terms to fight in Honduras. We shall see if Tio wants to honor his father by fighting Keyshawn. Imagine you in a position to fight a person who knocked out your own father for millions, not for free. Would you do it? Duh, especially when it's in your own country and in your backyard. Listen, if Tio doesn't fight Keyshawn next, after Keyshawn agreed to the crazy terms by Tio Fma Lopez, this means when Tio Fma Lopez told ESPN, I'm leaving ESPN. Y'all can keep the black fighters. I can't be in the same room with them. He was pretty much telling them, Listen, ESPN, if you guys want to re-sign me, then you guys have to protect me from these black fighters on ESPN, the likes of Devin Haney, Shakur, Keyshawn, and them. Last but not least, T.F. Lopez Sr. came out responding to the news of supposedly Keyshawn knocked him out, where he completely denied it. Check it out. Yeah, the person that said that Keyshawn Davis knocked me out <laughs> They're 100% wrong. Nobody knocked me out that night. Listen, obviously, Tio Sr. is not going to admit that Keyshawn knocked him out. What is he supposed to do? He's supposed to deny it, obviously. However, what Tio's supposed to do, I'm talking about Tio Jr., is defend his father's honor and fight Keyshawn in the ring. Show us how gangster you are in the ring. That's the least thing. Tio can do for his father, not for the boxing world, not for the fans, but more so for his country, Honduras, for his family and father honor. With the facts being laid out, drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe below and to be continued on the next episode of Ahi TV. Peace out. Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. If we get a good fight with Gumbosis up in Australia, get 65,000 people, man, I'm all in for it. You know what I'm saying? In, in I'll, fight it, I'll fight with Devin Haney, I'll fight with Javante Davis, I'll fight with, with Chico, or anybody of those guys. Don't make no sense right now. You know, these guys got to make up their... their um, they got to make up their resumes. They got to start fighting bigger guys, you know? But when it comes to Devin, I got to think about it. These guys... Devin has a... Not a long way. He got like maybe three to five years to get to that point to where we can make that fight happen. Three to five years to where we can make that fight happen. Oh, yeah, oh, the right hand.
Don't say that shit. I said you win. Let's go. Shift, bro. Don't leave me in like that, bro. Don't leave me in like that. What made you mention my name in that interview? Just a question. You said Crawford will beat me. It's just an opinion. I don't like it. I hope you respect that part. I respect it. I'm not saying Pedraza's is going to beat you. Nah, I ain't say that. Because you know that's not going to happen. No, maybe it can. Everybody can when you step in that ring. Just don't bite the bullet. Hey, Tio, I never disrespected you, right? I took that disrespect, what you said. You did? For sure. They ain't, they ain't even mention my name when you, when, you brought up, when you brought it up. You know, a lot of times they mix my words up. I seen the video. You did? I seen it. So I ain't mean to disrespect you, brother. Good business. Thank you very much. Gracias. What's going on over here with you guys? I hear this chatter back and forth. Uh, well, what's happening? I ain't gonna say exactly what we were saying, but um, you know, just seeing things in the media, the videos and stuff like that. And you know, fighters like to bring up things that happen, you know, behind closed doors, but they don't speak on everything that happened. So yeah, you know, I asked for a picture, but this man did tell me not to call him out after this fight. So you take that for what it is. Keyshawn Jose, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Hey, listen, your dad asked for 20 million for the Devin fight, man. Is that is, the, is that what holding up the fight? What's say again? Your dad asked for 20 million at one time for the Devin oh, fight. Oh, stop it. Come on now. Come on, guys. Come on now. Devin Haney is just using the clout. That's just the name, bro. It's just the name. Is there a personal beef brewing between you and Keyshawn John? Keyshawn Davis? Come on, Drottle. Come on. Who is Keyshawn? She hasn't good. won a world title. Good. I don't know Come that kid. Until he wins a world title and does something in the boxing world, don't use my name. Use his. Tia Fimo been doing a lot of talking lately. So, hey, I'll go up to 140 and fight Tia Fimo. What's up? Get this win tonight. Tia Fimo, you already know how I'm coming. You and your father. So let's set it up. Let's set it up. I'll come straight to 140. I'll come straight to 140. Let's go.